Good morning. I want to do a little more tea this morning because I, um, when I started taking my herb in classes about six years ago, I really wanted to know at the beginning what went with what. And, and I sort of like to know, you know, cinnamon and nutmeg and uh, cloves are just a combination, you know, that we put together. Well, what herbs went together? And, and then, um, you know, basil and tomatoes go together. And we know things like that. So, somehow, I just couldn't figure it out. Well, one day, I ordered a book called Dental Herbalism. And it answered my questions. And uh, over the years, I... I try to make as much stuff that I can make myself, like I make my own mayonnaise. I haven't bought mayonnaise out of a store in years. I don't even know how much it costs anymore. Mustard, uh, soap, shampoo, a face lotion, all that I've learned how to do. Paint pictures, <laughs> anything I could do. And so, I mean, not... I can't do anything, but anything that I could do, I wanted to learn how to do. And this book is by Leslie M. Alexander and Linda A. Straub slash Bryce. And they have PhDs and all sorts of things after their names. But also, I make my own toothpaste so and tooth powder. It was funny, I was listening to a documentary about um, some people that went back into the 18th century and I think they were in Canada and when they got all done they commented oh we get to go back and we get to buy toothpaste and use real toothpaste and I don't use real toothpaste so I guess I would fit back in that time but anyway when I got this book, there's a section, and I just want to share with you what I was really excited about. It talks about different herbs, and I grow yarrow in my yard, so I thought this morning, I want to make a tea out of my yarrow, especially because I'm going to have fresh yarrow this summer, and I need to be using this up. And in here it talks about it's that it's an antibacterial, it's antimicrobial, it's antro, an, antiviral. It's a good herb to use during the flu, cold and flu season. And it's also, it, it, it is bitter and it's pungent. So you have to get sort of uh, used to that. It's also anti inflammatory. It's astringent, which means mm, a sort of puckery. Okay, then what, what it does, it talks about what it combines with. So now I know what it marries well with. And I'll just read down so it gives an idea. I'm not going to read them all. Uh, bee balm, calendula, cardamom, cayenne, cinnamon, cloves, echinacea, uh, goes on orange peel, peppermint, uh, sage, thyme, etc. Anyway, enough to give me a clue. So what I decided to do, I and mine is in bigger pieces. So I'm going to have, and I want to get it in a tea bag. So first of all, I'm going to have to go through and sort of get it where I can use it in a tea bag fashion. So I'm going to take those little stems out. Oh, and I can smell it. Smells, I like the smell of it. And this, where we used to live in Idaho, it just grew wild all out in our pastures. Before I knew it, I bought some to grow in my yard. And then I discovered it was just all through the fields. Oh, 
Okay, and I just want, I, because I've never made this tea before, I'm just making it up. I only want about a fourth of a cup. And I, yes, I get some of this sticks out. I've got about a fourth of a cup in there now. And then it said it combined well with mint. And mint has a much better taste. So I'm going to put a half a cup of mint in with it. Okay, uh, oh, now the mint. Oh, I love the smell of mint too. Okay. Um, I'll just tell you a little bit about mint. Uh, peppermint. Okay. It is also antibacterial. It's antifungal, antimicrobial, and um, another thing, it doesn't say it in here, but mint, when you drink mint tea or ingest mint, it reaches your bloodstream faster than alcohol can. I mean, it's quick and uh, it's it's what they call a nervine. It stimulates and it's on the high end. Instead of relaxing you, it can pep you up. It's a good tea to drink in the morning, but it seems funny on my Peter Rabbit tea that I make. And by the way, I'm drinking that this morning. It's chamomile and mint, which are good combination. <coughs> but chamomile is very relaxing. And peppermints on the other end of the spectrum that it raises you up. They must balance out. But what they're both good for is your tummy and just digestion and, and uh, soothing to all of your digestion. And so that's why uh, Peter Rabbit's mom, when he ate too much, he got chamomile tea. I don't think they mixed it with mint, but I do. <coughs> okay. Now, when I read through, both of them blended well <clears throat> with thyme. And I am only going to put an eighth of a part. So, actually, my parts were a fourth a part. So, I had one part yarrow, two parts mint, and, uh, okay, that was a half, okay, and a, a fourth, oh shoot, I'm bad at math, I put in a tablespoon, uh, I think a half would be, so it must be an eighth, an eighth of a part, okay, I hate to admit it. But the other thing that they said is orange peel. And I don't have any dried orange peel, but I put a piece of orange peel into the oven this morning, and it's not quite dry. So I'm not going to put it in my tea bags because it would mold. But when I make the tea, I am going to put just in the pot itself some of the orange, and I'm just going to cut it up here in little pieces and put it in. And if, if it were dry, then I could grind it up and put it in my tea bags. Oh, it smells good. Oh, I love the smell of orange peel. <clears throat> now, remember, if you have to buy oranges, and you're going to do something like this, you have to get organic or you're just going to fill it all full of chemicals, bad chemicals. And so um, that's what you want to do. But this was out off our tree. We have an orange tree, two lemon trees, and a lime tree. I love the lime tree. Okay. So I've got way more than I'll have for one cup, but I'm hoping we'll have more than one cup of tea. So that's it. And again, the name of the book is Dental Herbalism by Leslie M. Alexander. 
So I'm going to leave you with that. I am going to put these in a tea bag and make a cup of tea and see how it is. So have a cup of tea. Enjoy your day. Surviving the 80s here. <laughs>